fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. That strike block. Oh, 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 at the top. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Big punch landing from the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are oh. been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Fast. 
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. These guys throwing early. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches. He won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, eats a knee to the head. He is all about that left kick to the body. Right hand punch from Clinch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, crisp boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back and forth we go. Nice spinning attack to the body. He lands for him. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. One, two there by Lee. Big kick lands. Great one, my oh. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on them. Don't give them an opportunity. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Game of inches right there. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Beautiful head kick. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. 
Ali gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Game of inches right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. That strike block. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Big punch landing for the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are go. Oh! Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very easily matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Good stick. Nice head kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. What a punch. Leg kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here to the Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to reach it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh, and that's going to do it. He got it. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO.
Result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon.